Hello, Bubba Foley. In this video, I'll be talking about the Galaxy Gates, a wonderful tool to farm and win rare items such as Havoc and Hercules drone designs, LA4 weaponry, and much more. While you are also constructing a gate, it'll give you various rewards each time you spin the generator. There are 11 gates you can build, with one gate that is specifically built by completing other Galaxy Gates, called the Kronos Gate. In this guide, I will only be mentioning the worthwhile rewards. If you want a more detailed list, full with NPC information and all the rewards, you can find a link in the description that will lead you to a fandom wiki page on Dark Orbit's gates. One thing to keep in mind throughout the rewards list of the gate, these are the normal rewards given upon completion. There are special days where bonus rewards are given, but that will be at the very end of the guide. One special event is the Double Gate Rewards event. It will double every reward given except for Iridium, UCB 100 ammo, ABR, and Kronos gate parts. To know what ABR is, check out the upgrading guide. But in short, it is a resource required to upgrade your items. When it comes to becoming full elite, there is one and only one very important gate you must work on to make leaps and bounds in progress, the Zeta gate. The gate is fairly simple, NPCs don't hit too hard, and hey, you can also skip being hit altogether if you're good enough. This gate is the one to provide you a large sum of rewards when completing, getting you closer to not just full elite, but also ultra full elite or UFE. Upon completing, you will receive 50 log discs, 25 booty keys, which you can learn more in the booty key guide, a 45% chance of receiving a Havoc design, and a generous 35,000 Iridium. The Havoc drone design provides you an additional 10% more damage for each weapon that's equipped in your drones only, not the ship. Unfortunately, there are no boosts for having a single one equipped, but it does look good by changing your drone to a nice red color. Before getting into any of the other gates, let's discuss what a spin actually is. As you go through space, completing missions, gathering boxes, you will collect extra energy. This energy can be used at no cost to spin the generator. Without any energy, each spin costs 100 Iridium, and you will receive items worth the same value regardless of whether you use Iridium. Viewing the item breakdown, a large portion will be ammunition, 65%. This can be MCB25 or X2 ammo, MCB50, which is X3, UCB100, which is X4, ACM mines, and PLT2021 rockets. Then it jumps down to 12% being a Xenomit, a special resource commonly used for insta shields and smart bombs, which we will get into in the extras video. 3% will be repair credits, which can be used to discount in-game repairs if you wish to respawn at a portal or on the spot, and to repair drones with no charge. 4% goes into Nano Hull, which is a secondary hit point bar that cannot be repaired. 1% goes into Log Discs, which used for tech items, and the Skill Tree, which you can learn more about in the Skill Tree guide. And finally, the last 13% is used to get parts for Galaxy Gates. To start off the list, we have the Alpha, Beta, and Gamma Gates. These gates are built differently from the others, such that as you spin, you can get parts for all three gates, so it can take quite a while before you finish one. The gates themselves are fairly simple. There are 10 waves in all three gates, each with NPCs you would encounter in your normal gameplay. The beginning is easy, starting with Sterners and Lord Accius, and gets difficult fast, with Crystallons and Protojets at the end. But the rewards are really good, with Alpha giving you 20,000 Iridium. Beta gives double the rewards of Alpha, but at the same time, the NPCs within the gate contain double the amount of hit points and shields, and deal double the damage. Gamma gives triple the rewards of beta, but the NPCs also have triple the amount of hit points and shields, and deal triple the damage. Next up, we have the Delta Gate. It's a fairly simple gate compared to the previous, but just a tad bit harder than Alpha, maybe even beta. Certain NPCs have modified HP, shields, and damage output, and some of the big NPCs have special shields that allow them to be immune to damage. It can only be taken down once the other NPCs are killed. This rewards is nothing more than a really nice 45,000 Iridium and 20 to 40 Shikism crystals, special ore used for UFE items such as Spartan drone designs. After that, the Epsilon Gate. This gate contains special low map NPCs, which you can learn more about in the NPCs guide. It is fairly easy, but the NPCs are necessarily tough with a little reward worth the effort at the end. Upon completion, you receive 25,000 Iridium, 5 booty keys, and a 25% chance to get the LF4. It might be tempting to go for the LF4 now, but it'll be worth saving your energy and spins for Zeta, and for an upcoming gate, Kappa. 
The Kappa Gate is another simple gate that you should jump on once you get your Havocs from Zeta. It is a mixed gate containing enemies from Zeta, Epsilon, and the normal gates. The final two gates contain strong enemies called the Boss Caribbean and the Sentry Falcon. They are weaker than the ones you would normally run into from events, but still fairly strong. But with Moth Formation, they are simple to beat. The gate will give you 15,000 Iridium, 10 Log Discs, 5 Booty Keys, and a chance to receive one of the following. 12.5% chance for an LF4, 25% for a Kappa or Multi Booster, and 37.5% chance to get a Hercules Drone Design. When you finish the Kappa Gate for the first time, there is a guaranteed chance to receive one of those items. After that, there is a 25% chance that you won't receive anything. The Hercules Drone Design boosts your drone's shield power by 15%. Once all your drones are equipped, it will give you an additional 20% HP. For the Lambda Gate, you never really need to do it unless you want to. It is a short gate with various boss level NPCs, from Sterners to Crystallons. Upon completion, you receive 15,000 Iridium, 5 Booty Keys, and 3 Log Discs. Now the last, normal style of Gox Gates, the Kapir Gate. It is an interesting gate, and recommended for players who are past full elite, with some LF4. It features the new Era Sterners, various turrets, and an Emperor Sterner. The gate does have the potential to be exceedingly rewarding, giving 15,000 Iridium, 5 keys, and a 25% chance to receive one of the following ships. Citadel Elite, Spearhead Elite, Aegis Elite, Venom, or Pusat. If you already have these ships, you will instead be credited 200,000 Iridium. The final two gates are fairly different gates, Hades and Kronos. Hades is built like normal, containing 45 parts. However, it's a group gate. You will need a team of strong players to be able to get through it. It only has three maps, containing normal, boss, and uber versions of Sibilans, Lord Akiums, and Crystallons, as well as their Emperor counterpart. You will need a minimum of four players in an outfit to start it, but you can have a full outfit of eight players. If you die in the gate, you can respawn immediately on the map with full health, shields, and continue fighting. You have 30 seconds to decide to respawn in the map or on the home base. Either option is free. When fighting, the second emperor you run into with the Lord Akiams moves in a weird way. It'll fly the opposite direction from where you and the other player shoot at it. Once it reaches the edge, it'll teleport and spawn two clones around the location it teleports to. Until the real one is found, it will repair at a fairly fast pace. And the final boss, the Emperor Crystallon, has a special ability where you and other players get charged with a positive and negative polarity. It is important that players with different polarities do not get close to each other. If you do, both will be dealt 20,000 damage per second, which in turn repairs the Emperor at the same rate. Finally, the Kronos Gate. It can only be built by completing most of the other Galaxy Gates. To build it, you will need to complete 4 Alpha, 3 Beta, 1 Gamma, 1 Delta, 4 Epsilon, 1 Zeta, 2 Kappa, and 5 Lambda Gates. Upon completion, you can place it on the home map just like any other gates. Within the gate, you will run into other player-based ships from Phoenixes to Goliaths, and even Spearheads, Aegis, and Citadels, but without their abilities. The final wave is an evil version of your ship, along with 8 Iris drones that attack you. Upon completion, you will receive 25,000 Iridium, 10 Booty Keys, 15 Log Discs, a Blueprint which can be reused infinitely for the Spartan Drone Design, and an unknown chance to receive the special Saturn Ship, which has a 20% HP boost over the basic Goliath. The Spartan Drone requires 225 Shikism Crystals, 1 Havoc, and 1 Hercules Design in order to construct. It boosts your drone's damage and ship's HP by 1% per design. Once you completely equip your ship's drones with the Spartans, you get an additional 5% HP boost along with 10% more shield. There is only one way to very efficiently build gates. Spin the generator one at a time, and each time you get a multiplier, which is a duplicate gate part you already got, you consume it immediately on the following spin. If you want to learn the math behind why this is the best method, you can find the link for it in the description below. It does take a long time, but it'll help avoid spending excess amounts of spins or iridium to build a gate. What I personally like to do is to use 100 spins at a time until about a third of the gate is built. So for the Zeta gate, which has 111 parts, I switch to spinning one at a time once I get around to 35 parts. To further increase the chances of receiving a gate part, you can eliminate getting nanohull by completely filling up the ship with it. 
I suggest using a phoenix since it has the lowest amount, allowing it to be quickly filled up and then you won't receive any more nano hull. To fill it up, all you have to do is activate the ship. There are two special events that run every weekend, the Galaxy Gate Special Rewards Weekend and the Double Rewards Day. The Special Rewards Weekend runs on both Saturday and Sunday, while the Double Rewards runs only on Sunday. The Special Rewards are unaffected by Double Reward. The Special Rewards are given by Delta, Epsilon, Cupid, and Lambda Gates, and you can get an assortment of items from them, such as Elephorce, cosmetic drone designs, and various Goliath ships. What gate drops what depends on the version that is running, which you can figure out from the forms calendar. If you want to see this page, you can find the link in the description below. Galaxy Double Rewards is going to be your best friend when getting to full elite. When doing Zetas, if you win a Havoc, you will get 2 instead of 1, along with an amazing 100 log discs and 50 keys. Same thing applies to the Yellow Force and Hercules and Kappa. As a bonus, everyone gets a 15% discount to the Iridium price to build. Each spin is going to be 85 Iridium instead of the normal 100. It also stacks with Premium's 5% discount and the rebate's 25%, giving you a total discount of 45%. I recommend you to buy it if you have hundreds of thousands of Iridium to spend. That wraps up everything you need to know about the Galaxy Gate. Use these tips in your space exploration and get to full elite. If there are any topics inside Dark Orbit that you would like me to get deep into, drop a comment below. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if I helped you out. And hit the bell icon so you know when the next video is available. And I bid thee farewell.